Alright you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to make another pie because I love pies. I'm going to make a chicken and vegetable pot pie. But before we start, a few shout outs. A couple of PayPal donors. Declan O'Kane, sorry I forgot you last week or missed you. And one for Paul Gregson. Thank you very much guys, much appreciated. And also a shout out for Barry and Libby because they wanted one. Barry! Libby! There you go, you got it. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, become a patron, make a donation, etc. And without further ado, let's uh, do it. Right, I'm going to make my filling first because uh, it needs to cool down completely after we've made it. So I've got 650 grams of skinless, boneless chicken breasts. I've got about three quarters of a litre of chicken stock, I've got some mushrooms, a couple of sticks of celery, a medium onion, two carrots, possibly a bit of double cream, some frozen peas just in warm water to thaw, and some white pepper, maybe some salt as well. Now normally when I get a request it's just, can you do this? Uh, but this, with this one it was requested by Jeffrey Weldon, who um, also sent me a recipe, he said try this recipe. It's on the Spruce Eats website, which I refer to quite a bit. And at first glance, it looked kind of intriguing because it was called something like an instant pot chicken and vegetable pot pie. Uh, now, um, instant pot is uh, it's just a fancy pressure cooker with lots of electronic controls and things, and I don't think I want one. But the idea of making a pie in a pressure cooker, I, I was like, mm, yeah, how does that work? Uh, anyway, it doesn't. It's it makes the filling in the pressure cooker and it only cooks it for four minutes because quite honestly this stuff doesn't take that long. By the time you've got your thing up to pressure, done the four minutes and then depressurized it naturally, not under a cold tap, that's well over half an hour I should think, um, which is what this will take just on a conventional stove top. So we're not doing instant pot or pressure cooker. The other thing, which is something that's always kind of baffled me is it's a pot pie. Now, uh, a Brit, what is a pot pie? I don't know. So I asked a load of, well, I asked on my community tab on, on my YouTube channel uh, if anybody could enlighten me. And um, actually, really mm, kind of, yeah, but no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I thought the idea would be you've got a ceramic pot with stew in it and pastry lid, the kind of thing that I hate and do not call a pie. It can be that, but actually it doesn't have to be. It can also have a pastry bottom which is a real pie, or a pastry bottom and no top, which is not a real pie. So yeah, <laughs> puzzling. I'm still puzzled. And Geoffrey Austin told me about entries in his 1891 copy of the White House Cookbook, which has recipes for ordinary pies and pot pies. And either or, and both of them can be single crust or double crust. So it's, uh, yeah. Um, other people have suggested it might have potatoes in it, so pot, short potato, yeah. Uh, or the idea that the pastry is the pot because in the very early days of coffin pies, <laughs> you didn't eat the crust, it was, it was just a container for the filling. Anyway, that's possibly more history than you wanted to know, so uh, let's do some cooking. Okay, so start off, well, peel, slice and dice your onion. And then just cut your bigger mushrooms in half, or a quarter if they're bigger than this, or not at all if they're that size. <laughs> and we'll chop the celery, so what I do is just slit it down the middle, and then you can just cut it like that, and down the carrot, and cut it into big sticks, and then into small dice. Now I've got some rapeseed, canola oil, or you could use olive oil heating up in a frying pan. I'm going to put my onion in and let that cook for about five minutes. Try not to brown it too much, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit. And then pop the mushrooms in and let those cook and basically release all of their liquid. Now I'll add the stock and the chopped celery and carrot and a couple of bay leaves and just let those simmer for about 10 minutes. 
Right, so the veggies are bubbling away and I'm just going to chop my chicken up a bit. Um, actually quite fancy doing it in big slabs for a change. Normally I'd do it in sort of bite-sized cubes, but um, I feel like a change. <laughs> And I'm going to add the peas and then add some white pepper, give that a stir, give it a taste and add salt if necessary. So I'm just going to lay the chicken fillets on top of the, the liquid and uh, put a lid on it and just let that kind of poach for about 10 to 15 minutes till it's gone opaque. So the chicken is kind of poached, we'll take that out. And now we want to thicken up the gravy, turn it into a, you know, more of a sauce. So I've got a slurry of water and flour, equal quantities. I'll just stir that in, that will thicken it up after a minute or two. And finally, I'll add some double cream just to make it a bit luxury-like. And then we pop the chicken breast back in on top and let the whole thing cool down. When it stops steaming, put it in the fridge uh, to cool completely. Now, pastry. You can't have a pie without pastry. So I'm going to do a big sort of family size thing in this tin. Um, and I'm going to use short crust pastry for the bottom, which I'll make myself. And puff pastry, which uh, I think Aldi, yeah, Aldi made that for me. I made puff pastry in a recipe recently, so I ain't doing it again. <laughs> I mean, I could do, but that's too much punishment. Right. For the short crust pastry, I've got 200 grams of plain all-purpose flour, 50 grams each of butter and lard, a teaspoon of salt and enough water to make it come together. So, I'll add the salt, get that well mixed in, then we need to chop this into little pieces. And we just need to rub those in with our cold fingertips until it looks like fine breadcrumbs or coarse sand. Alright, there's our crumbs and I'm just going to fold in the water. It's usually about seven tablespoons. So I'm going to Cover that and put it in the fridge to rest for a bit and while it's resting I'm going to make the top. Right so it's going to be a puff pastry top but I like to make things a little bit difficult so I'm going to make a, a lattice uh, out of this um, and it should look a bit spectacular if I can get the thing open. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, open at the end. Yeah, there we go. Now this tin is 22 centimetres to the outside of the rim. That's uh, eight and a half inches. And uh, 28 lengthwise, that's 11 inches. So eight by 11, basically. I want some flour on the worktop. Ooh. Now, because we're going to weave it, we our end pastry will be twice as thick as the thickness it comes rolled at. So I've, I've rolled it a little bit longer and that makes it thinner. So that's now 28 centimetres that way and that will be the width wise. So what we want to do is cut this into strips. Um, about like that. 25 mil, about an inch. Okay, I'm going to assemble the lattice before I put it on the pie because I think it'll be easier that way. I could be wrong. That's my tin and this is just a, a temporary work surface that um, I can use to tip it out onto the pie when it's done. So we'll just lay these out in a little space between them. And then lift up alternate ends and grab a 
grab one of those and I'll just I've got some cold water here so I'll just put a dab of cold water on those so it sticks and then we we'll need to peel back the next lot and keep on going till we get to the end. Okay, that's well, it's all my pastry used up. <laughs> um, that'll do, that'll be fine. Alright, so now I need to roll out the base. Uh, some flour on there, it's a bit sticky. So I'm probably going to have too much of this one, but never mind, we can always make something else. We just need to roll this out quite thinly. Okay, nice big sheet of pastry, and we'll just roll it around the rolling pin. Grab a tin and just generously flour the inside, which will help stop sticking. And then unroll your pastry over that. Grab a spare blob and push the pastry down into the edges, corners, whatever you call them. Now we just trim off the excess pastry up against the rim. Actually, not too much excess, so that was quite good. Right, I'm going to uh, put some, well, I'm going to put the filling in. I'll start off with a layer of, ah, bay leaf, good. Start off with a layer of chicken fillets on the bottom. And then a load of the, the veggies in the creamy sauce. I need to put the oven on. I'll do this at 170 degrees Celsius for a fan oven. That's 190 for a conventional one. And the gas is on the screen. Now I'll put the remaining chicken fillets on the top. So we want the rest of the sauce over that. Now I've moistened the rim with water and I shall now attempt <laughs> to get the lid on. Whoa. Oh, yeah, not bad. Okay, I'll call that a success. You can call it what you like. <laughs> so, I'm just going to glaze this with the uh, egg wash, which is an egg beaten with a bit of milk. So here's our pie, and isn't she a beauty? Now, that goes in the oven for, well, about 40 minutes, I think, and I'll probably turn it around halfway through. <sighs> okay, time's up, so let's see what we've got. I reckon that's a pie. That really is a pie. Right, let's grab a bit of this ear pie. And now it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith. <laughs> Chicken and vegetable pot, pot pie. pie. Pot pie. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, just pie, because... There's no pot in it. Are you going to answer that? <laughs> no, I wasn't, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll do those separately. Wow, it's really creamy. Mm. Mm. Chicken, nice, tender. Mm. That's actually 
more your thing than mine. That's that's actually too creamy for my taste. I mean, it's beautifully tender. I love that pastry. You know me and pastry. But yeah, this is um, mm, very good of what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, totally eating that pastry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, I think if you put, there is such a thing as too much cream in something. Many people may disagree, but it's a bit, a bit overwhelming. We're trying the bottom pastry, which is the one that I made. Oh right, yeah, you said you were using strips of it, didn't you? Doesn't it look gorgeous? Mm. Mm. Like, but there's pepper in it as well, isn't it? It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right. Thank you for watching and <laughs> we're not gonna have a fight now, are we? Maybe later. <laughs> of course we're not. See you next time. <laughs>